Let's start with the background since the ghost is white and it will need some contrast. I'm going to name this layer background and let's choose the rectangle tool and create a shape that fills the whole background. We can remove the stroke because we don't need it and choose a dark color for the background. I'm going to use some dark purple for example. Let's lock this layer so that it doesn't move when we're working and create a new one. Let's call it Ghost. And now again with the rectangle tool, let's choose a white color and create a shape more or less like this. Now with the selection tool, let's select the two corners at the top and drag from these circles until the shape is completely round. And now we're starting to see the basic shape of the ghost. Let's give it some ice. With the ellipse tool, let's create a shape like this. And I like to use a very dark gray in a similar hue to the color of the background. Click OK. And I'm going to copy paste this ellipse, make it white to give the eye a little bit of a shine. You can zoom in to adjust it. And now I will select the two shapes, group them with the right click, and now I can duplicate to have a pair of eyes. Now let's create the mouth. With the ellipse tool again, let's create something like this. And with the selection tool, we can remove the top point, select the two middle points, right click and join. And now let's give it some color maybe a dark red and we can move it into place and once you're happy with it with the selection tool choose the two top points the corners and drag down on these circles to make the corners a little bit roundish now let's give it a little tongue with the ellipse tool. Let's make sure they are aligned. And we'll create a copy of the mouse. Copy and paste in place. And now select both shapes, the mouth and the tongue, and go to the Pathfinder window. If you don't have it here, go to Window, Pathfinder. And we're going to select the Intersect option. And now we have this little shape here. Let's give it a slightly lighter version of this color. And we have the mouth completed. And I think we can make it even more cute by giving it a little bit of blush with another ellipse. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to give it an even lighter version of this color. Nice. Now let's make the wavy part at the bottom of the ghost. With the pen tool, I'm going to create a line that spans the whole width of the ghost down here. I'm using shift to create our horizontal line. And now we can go to effect, distort and transform, zigzag. Let's choose the smooth option down here and adjust the size a little bit. So here we can determine how tall the ridges are and here we can determine how many of them there are. You see how it is here where one corner is at the top and the other one is at the bottom? You don't want this. What you want is the two corners at the top. I think I like 29 and 5, like this. I'll click OK. If you accidentally entered some numbers that you don't like and you clicked OK, don't worry. You can go here to the appearance panel and click on zigzag and you can change the size and ridges per segment. If you don't have the appearance panel here, go to window and click on appearance. Now that I'm happy with this, I'll go to object, expand appearance and it has transformed from a line to a shape. Now I will flip it completely and align it with the bottom of the ghost. And finally, I will select the ghost shape and the wiggly line shape 
and go to Pathfinder again and I'll select this option, minus front. Right click on the shape, arrange and send to back. And now one last detail, I can click on the shape of the ghost, copy and paste in place and give it a grey, purplish, purplish grey. Go to the transparency panel and select multiply. We can click and drag to duplicate it, select both shapes and again in the pathfinder panel select minus front. And here we go, this is our finished cute ghost just in time for Halloween. I hope you like this tutorial and you find it useful. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great week!